here it is. Okay, so this is this is a purchase that we've been deliberating over for months and months. It's a bit of a crazy one, and I don't know if you guys have seen these in the past, like advertised or not, but there's only a hundred made. Um, it is the Roger Mayer Purple Haze uh, edition of the Octavia, and yeah. <laughs> well, f firstly, I've got to say an absolute massive thanks to uh, Guitar Village here in the UK. Great bit of service, like. You can't, you know, you can't fault them. Absolutely awesome. Uh, next day delivery, great service. Literally rang you up to make sure you you got it. It's, it's crazy. Like you don't really get that service um, a lot nowadays. So yeah, highly recommended Guitar Village in the UK. And then I think they are an exclusive supplier of this pedal because I've not really seen them for sale anywhere else. So um, I don't know how many they've got left, but probably not a lot. Um, so yeah, let's. I thought it would be a good opportunity to actually unbox something like this on camera because um you know it's not every day you get to get to see it uh, something like this and um yeah let's start off by saying these are 1440 pounds which is absolutely bonkers um yeah gotta be the most expensive retail price of an octavia ever and um on that note does this box to you guys justify 1400 40 pounds i'm not i'm not commenting either way but um yeah it's uh yeah i'll let you guys comment and see you know let us know what you think on that but um i've not really looked at this yet i wanted to do it on camera so let's have a look here he is look here he is roger may himself let's give his face a little stroke that's a nice that's a nice little um oh it's actually a little book that's cool nice yeah, giving you the history behind it. Um, this this pedal is supposed to be the, you know, exact recreation that Roger May has never actually released in the past, which is uh, the exact pedal that Hendrix would have used on recordings like uh, Purple Haze and Band of Gypsies and stuff like that. So, yeah, I won't obviously read through all this, but um, yeah, the the original that it's based on it was uh, sold for seventy over seventy thousand dollars, which is pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, this is a ni really nice little book. I've always seen that picture growing up and thought, wow, that's um, the ultimate Photoshop. Yeah, nice. Oh, and then here's the COA, the Authenticity Certificate, which is awesome. Nice. Right, so we'll put that to the side. Here we go. Wow, there it is. Okay, that's, that's pretty awesome because... Um, it's literally got, you know, cut out exactly, so you're not going to get it smashed in transit, which is pretty cool. I actually got a pedal uh, the other day in a trade, which um, absolutely was just decimated in, in transit. It was, um, yeah, just because it wasn't packaged properly. So this is um, nice to see. Uh, but yeah, here it is. Ooh, jeez. Wow. It, wow. It, people often talk about the weight of stuff and... Uh, there's no correlation really between the weight and it being good but there is something about holding a substantial package like this and it just feels like really well made but um yeah there you go you can see the uh the signed uh roger mayer signature and the serial number those knobs are nice um never seen those like that i don't think that's cool that's really nice so look at the back nice the colors actually um slightly off-white it's um it's more of a grayish actually like if you see the dunlop octavio that is um yeah like pure white but this is a nice little faded gray which is cool i feel like it's only fair to have a quick open up inside and see what it looks like because it's got like some crazy pcb inside so let's open it up and see what we find i'm sort of scared to even touch it just because it's so much money but um oh god yeah see you like that nearly nearly you know slipped and scratched it knocked 100 quid off it <laughs> but right let's take these screws out whoa all right let's start by looking at the back plate that's nice a bit like the um the back of the booklet we looked at but yeah that's really cool it just feels really well made like crazy well made oh man that's um yeah that's the thing of beauty inside 
heard, I think I read in that book quickly just there, like these are gold plated cliff jacks, which is pretty <laughs> crazy. I don't know like how hard they are to get hold of. Um, but yeah, this, um, wow, this looks crazy. It says in this book here that this is a six layer PCB or printed circuit card and it's got triple shielding. This right here is the ferrite transformer, which Roger Mayer makes um, quite a big deal about. It says in the book here, the ferrite transformer was used in the original first evolution Octavia or prototype and now in the latest Purple Haze edition. So that's exclusive to this and the original ones, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it feels like a great bit of kit. I can't wait to plug it in. What do you guys reckon? Let us know in the comments. Is it worth the money? Of course, you have to use your ears to um, make that decision. And we're actually going to plug it in on an episode of the Pedal Porn Hub um, very soon. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. And yeah, that'll be the ultimate test. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Let us know what you think to this absolute beast. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you soon. Thanks so much and cheers.